everybody welcome back to my channel um today i am hopping on to actually do a um, put together of a product and do a little bit of a review um so i am filming multiple videos today um so that's why i'm in the same outfit <laughs> i do change my clothes i promise um but i've got uh three videos that i'm filming today um one this will be the middle one of the three. Um, the previous one you're going to see is the pokeberry dyeing, which I'm actually working on right now, um, getting the pokeberries ready to go. And yes, yeah, so um, let's hop right into this video. Um, for those of you who are new here, welcome. Um, I am Renee. I am a spinner, knitter, crocheter. Um, obviously a yarn dyer and uh, I raise Angora rabbits and Angora goats and do all the farming things that I can do. Um, and today we're going to do a, uh, a hutch and I'm not exactly sure what this is going to be for yet. Um, I have, if you go back in previous videos, I'll try to link maybe one or two here. I have an outdoor colony with two female um, French Angoras in the colony. They have been there since April um, with an igloo, um, an omelet hutch, which omelet is the brand name of the company, and um, it's an igloo hut, and it is specifically made for rabbits. They are really, really awesome. Um, hutches, they have chicken coops, they have all kinds of really neat things and they're very well made. Um, but with that being said, they're, they do have a price tag on them. Um, and so I have one of those right now. Uh, and actually, if you go to their Instagram page, they are doing a giveaway for a rabbit. It's on my Instagram page too. Um, I shared it. But they are doing a, a full, um, the hutch and the fencing and all kinds of stuff in this giveaway so that might be something you want to jump over and um, I think it'll still be should still be available by the time this video goes up um, so I have one of those and right now um, with all the stuff I have going on I do not have the extra finances to purchase a second one right now as much as I would love to um, I have done a lot for our little farm this year in regards to adding things and um, getting some fencing and all that stuff and so right now it's just not in the cards to purchase another igloo hutch but um, I did purchase one a little bit more in my price range right now that I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to put it together on this video. I'll put music to it, fast forward through it, and then we're going to try it out. Um, I am hoping, I am not good with looking at a picture and figuring out how big it is, um, nor if you told me it were, if it were 24 by 36, I could kind of figure that out, but I am very visual, so I have to see it. Um, so this is not a really large um, outdoor. It is made for the outdoor. It has a, a sh like a not shingled roof, but um, it has like tar paper or something on the roof. So it's going to be good for outside. Um, so I'm not sure how big this is going to end up. I think it will be big enough for my two bunnies. Um, and I don't, somebody asked uh, on a couple of videos ago, um, what I'm going to do with my two outdoor rabbits when winter comes. We do live in Michigan, um, and they're saying it's going to be a hard winter. We will see. They said that last year, and I don't think it was, but um, you never know. Um, we definitely don't have winters like we used to when I was a kid living here. Um, I can remember when I was a kid, snow started end of October, beginning of November, and it did not stop until March or April. And they were very few breaks in between and so um, we just don't get that anymore but we do have um, the cold obviously I don't honestly I'm not worried about my angora rabbits being outside number one um, the omelet hutch that I have is amazing it's um, very well made the girls can go in and out and I still need to get a video of them um, going in when I go out at night I kind of just come up behind them 
and follow them and they usually go right into their hutch now so it's kind of cute I need to get a video of that but um, I am not worried about them being outside number one um, because they do have that to go into if they need it um, also there is a massive pine tree which I've showed you you will see on some of my videos that really kind of um, they're all kind of tucked in back there and so that will stop a lot of the uh, snow from coming down on them and um, I get very little snow in that area because of that massive pine tree. And um, also, angoras are loaded with fiber, um, very warm fiber. And so in the winter, I do not shear them down anymore. I will only comb them just to keep them um, clean and stuff. And so they're going to be full of nice warm fiber and in their element. And so I'm not worried about them being outside. So if this hutch works out... Um, that's what it's going to be for now i do have a second plan for this hutch and it will depend on how big it is once i get it put together i have a feeling it's going to be too small for what i want um, and i need to look for something else but we recently purchased for angora goats um, they are out along the same um, line of my rabbit barn and my chickens and um, the outdoor colony and then i have my goats and I have a small batch of um, newish chickens. They have been integrated into my old flock and they're doing well, but um, I would like to run them out with the goats. Chickens, if you don't know, chickens can kind of clean up after animals. Um, they, they clean up and clean up the bugs and all of that stuff. And we've done that quite often at our old farm. We always had, um, just random chickens in with our goats and alpacas and things and it did a they could, did a good job of keeping the the yard cleaned up of parasites and things like that um or bugs and poo and all of that stuff and so i have um i got a a rooster a second rooster which i said i wasn't going to do and i did um but our son and daughter-in-law have chickens they live in a big city actually that allows chickens but they can't have roosters and one of theirs um, that they got this summer was a random rooster and so I have a silky a little silky rooster out there um, I named him Elvis and Elvis and his girls are gonna go out with the goats and so I am trying to figure out um, I want to put them in their own space the goats have their area their barn that they go into and I want to put the chickens out there but I also want them to have their own space at night that I can lock them into we do have issues with critters um, and typically if we keep everybody locked up we're doing good so um, that is my second plan for this hutch again looking at it I don't think it's going to be big enough for that part of it um, and I will continue to look for it but I think this is going to be perfect for um, two of my angora rabbits to add to the other two that are already out there. I don't think I made that clear. So I'm going to put two more out there. Um, and I just need, I need a day where I can kind of keep an eye on them when I integrate everybody. Um, usually I have good luck with that. Um, not always. I've had some of my girls fight. Um, but most of the time they will get over that. Um, and I just need a time when I can keep an eye on them. So I think that's all I wanted to talk about. I'm going to um, turn this down and so you can see what I'm doing and I'll put music to this part, but I'm gonna put the, this hutch together. Um, I don't know if I said it, I did order this off of Amazon and um, I will put the link to that below and got a pretty good deal off from it, I think, um, for the purpose that I want it for. So again, this will be, I'm thinking this is just gonna be a nighttime um, shelter for two angoras um, but we will see once we get it put together so let me shift you down
guys it is put together I'm not sure how I feel about it yet um, it is really small uh, so two of my angoras will not fit in here comfortably um, but one will just and again this is not all the time this is just for evening for nighttime um, so that they can stay safe I would definitely although my area where my rabbits are um, is pretty protected with fencing and um, netting and things like that in the pine tree. And so um, raccoons can be pretty tricky with things like this. I had a chicken tractor once 
and I had a raccoon it had my chicken tractor had it was a, a it looked like a little barn and it had the door at the top for um, ventilation and stuff and it looked just like this and I had a raccoon turn one of these ones and get in there um, so they can be tricky um, it does have a nice roof for the weather um, it is sturdy and I don't know if you, I think you were able to see what I was doing. Um, so I don't know. This definitely will not work for my chickens. There are six of them that I need to move out there. So I need to find something much bigger for nighttime for them. Um, so I'm going to keep looking for that. But I do have a couple ideas for this. Um, one is I could, I could put one in here at night very easily um, just for nighttime to keep them safe and locked up. Um, the other thing is I could... Um, if you remember right, I have inside the rabbit barn, I also have rabbits that are in, um, uh, they're little fencing, like play fencing for animals. And I have two of those set up with rabbits in it right now. This would actually work really well if I decided to breed or when I decide to breed, when I am going to breed this fall. Um, this might actually make a really nice um, nesting place for that so i do have a couple ideas for this i don't think it's going to work exactly for what i want it for um and those of you with smaller rabbits um like i do have the ones i wanted to move outside are actually two of my german angoras and so they're pretty big and my french angoras are quite big my english angoras are smaller those are the smaller of the ones that i have um one of those would fit in here nicely um but I didn't want to move my English outside. So I will be, I will keep this. Um, I think it, it probably will work for a couple of things that I have going on here. Um, and I may try it out in the outdoor colony with one of my um, German Angoras and see how she does. Um, and then if she does well, maybe get a second one and have them each in their individual one. So. I hope that this video was helpful. I hope you learned something. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, please always put them down below. I try to always answer those. If you don't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. Um, I would like to continue to grow this channel and um, I really enjoy making these videos for you guys. So stay tuned for this one and I am going to uh, shut this down and start on another video. Have a great day.